Um, I have, God knows, printed thousands of labels when it comes to shipping out my cookbooks. And not one time have I seen a label from one of my family members. Now, let me say this, or somebody that I know, or somebody that I know. So let me say this, number one, it's okay if those who know you uh, do not support you or who's related to you don't support you. I'm gonna say this. Now, I'm not saying I don't have family that don't, or, or friends that don't support me. That's not what I'm saying. But God gave me something with that. He gave me an encouragement with that. God has sent thousands and thousands and thousands of people from all over the world to support me. He did that for a reason. If you, even if you look back into the in the biblical time, and you you all know I have to get biblical with it because <laughs> that's just what I do. But think about Jesus. Even he said that a prophet is not even accepted in his own land. So it's a reason for that. It's not something that you should get all um, twisted up in your mind about. You think oh, and, and upset about and frustrated and and not uh, you know don't do that. Don't do that. I want you to know something. It is what it is. That's literally the way it goes. God will send people from all over the world to support you. And even if you don't become worldwide, he'll have people, even if you're in a, a, a certain city, he'll have people from all around everywhere else to support you, but the people right there where you are. I don't know what that's about, but I want you to not be discouraged about it because some people get so discouraged about it and they start making these Facebook posts and eh, I don't do that. You know why? Because it's all good. It's <laughs> The point is God is getting you to uh, reach the people that he wants you to reach. You know how it is. You at the church where you at and man, you can preach, you know what I'm saying? Or you have the anointing of God in your life and the people right there in the church don't even see the gift and the blessing on your life. But man, let you go over there and preach cross town. Let you go over to this other country or this other state. Boy, they say, whoa, that man is anointed. Boom, you blow up. Now all of a sudden the people that's around you, they want to, you know, start supporting you. That's usually how it goes. 